Winter has come and gone, and now it's time to go back to the golden age of one of the most ancient and powerful families in Westeros. With a new trailer giving us our first glimpse at the prequel series, let's dig into the small details you missed in the House of the Dragon teaser trailer. House of the Dragon is exciting for a whole myriad of reasons, but for many Game of Thrones fans, getting to see the ancestral home of the Targaryens once again is certainly a highlight. This teaser trailer gives us plenty of looks into Dragonstone, a castle standing upon the eponymous island in Blackwater Bay. During most of Game of Thrones, it was home to Stannis Baratheon, where he ruled his lord until his death in Season 5. In Season 7, the mother of dragons herself, Daenerys, returns to Dragonstone, her birthplace, where she intends to launch her battle for the Iron Throne. But Dragonstone is never seen in its original splendor during Game of Thrones. I was born at Dragonstone. Not that I can remember it. We imagine we'll get to see even more of the Valerian artistry at Dragonstone, demonstrating just how powerful and wealthy the Targaryens were before the Iron Throne fell. The first trailer for House of the Dragon is short, but there's plenty in the teaser to get excited about, including the first sighting of the Hand of the King, even if it's literally just a shot of the man's hand and pin. All Game of Thrones fans are well aware of how badly things can go for someone in this position, with Tyrion Lannister and Davos Seaworth the only two to survive throughout the series. In House of the Dragon, this role will be filled by the character Otto Hightower, played by Reese Ifans, who is perhaps best known for playing the lizard in The Amazing Spider-Man. According to HBO's official character description, Hightower loyally and faithfully serves both his king and his realm, but he greatly dislikes a king's brother who he sees as the greatest threat to the kingdom. Of course, like Ned Stark, this instinct and intense concern could easily lead to his death. Because although he is the Hand of the King, we all know how hard it is to stop a Targaryen from getting what they want. One of the most intriguing shots in the trailer shows off Paddy Considine's King Viserys I Targaryen sitting on the Iron Throne, clutching a pretty unique sword. The weapon in question is actually the Blackfire Sword, made out of Valerian steel. Not only does this make it incredibly strong, but anyone who watched Game of Thrones knows that it is also one of the few materials in the world that can kill White Walkers. The Blackfire Sword is the ancestral blade of the house, although it's worth knowing that House Blackfire is a separate cadet house built out of House Targaryen, and they fought against their own family a number of times over the years. It's entirely possible that the show might include the Blackfire Rebellion. However, House of the Dragon is building up to the main Targaryen Civil War, which eventually spells doom for the family, known as Dance of the Dragons. It seems likely that the Blackfire Sword will cause plenty of infighting, depending on who wields it. The trailer gives fans a glimpse of the Iron Throne during a banquet scene involving the Targaryens and House Valerian, but a later shot reveals that it has a vastly different look in the spin-off series. The last shot of the trailer shows a mysterious white-haired person strolling towards the Iron Throne in the Red Keep's Great Hall, but it's much bigger than fans of the main series were expecting. It stretches outwards on both sides, with a sea of swords extending down the steps and spreading further into the hall. The Iron Throne was originally forged by Aegon the Conqueror, who used his dragon to melt 200 swords together before it was shaped into the iconic seat of power. In a blink-and-you'll-miss-it moment, 42 seconds into the teaser, we catch a glimpse of an image any Game of Thrones fan would be able to identify in their sleep, the Wolf of the Stark Sigil. During the scenes at the Joust, the Stark banner can be seen as a horse carrying a rider gallops past. However, the Starks aren't the only family represented in those scenes. In another shot, you can clearly see the familiar banners of House Tarly, which feature a red huntsman on a green background. Their size and placement leads us to believe the Tarleys are likely hosting the Joust, and we quickly see a member of the family participating against a member of what appears to be House Cole. The lion sigil for House Lannister is also seen, as is a banner featuring a golden sunburst on a blue background, though it doesn't seem to be as easily identifiable as the others. It could be a forerunner of House of Tarth. It's clear, based on what we've seen, that the House sigils have changed and evolved over time as they don't all match up perfectly with the versions that appeared in Game of Thrones, which takes place 200 years after the events of House of the Dragon. The changes are small, but they're a smart way to signify we're not in the same version of Westeros. Near the end, the teaser trailer provides fans with the first major look at actress Olivia Cook as Alicent Hightower, and it's safe to say that she does not look happy. Alicent is the daughter of the Hand of the King, described by HBO as the most comely woman in the Seven Kingdoms. In the short clip shown in the House of the Dragon teaser, Alicent appears to be distraught, running through what is likely one of the main meeting rooms of the castle, wielding a dagger with a ruby in the hilt. With little to go off of, it's hard to guess exactly what's going on here, but clearly that knife is going to come into play in the series one way or the other. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite television shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.